Hello everyone, Dreeks here, and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium 2. We are still working on Gym Leader Castle, as you may see. However, you may also notice the music has actually changed around here. <laughs> as you can see, we crossed the halfway point, taking care of all the gym leaders. In fact, we've already done six of them by now. But between six and seven is actually a little bit of an intermezzo. It is not just gym leaders. Taking a chapter out of the Pokemon Gen 2 games, Gold and Silver, we actually also need to take on Team Rocket here in Gym Leader Castle. Just like in the story in Pokemon Silver and Gold, after the Olifine Gym and before moving on to the Mahogany Gym, we need to battle Team Rocket. We're going to be facing two grunts and two executives. Team Rocket has returned here in Gen 2. And we will see if they are able to stop us. Unfortunately, this intermezzo is something that needs to happen. This is something we cannot skip. Let's just treat it like any normal gym leader battle. I will pick Higgs. Give him a gold berry. Second Pokemon. Um, Xander, I feel like using you again. We know Team Rocket, we can expect plenty of poison types. A psychic type is always a good idea. Uh, next Pokemon. Um, I'm not too sure if I want to bring a ground type actually. Um, I do want a fire type. Let's go pick Magnus after picking Enzo last time again. Um, still doubting. Better to pick a ground type. I will pick an electric type. I will also pick a water type again. Let's go bring Laura. And I think I will actually round things off with Snoopy. Let's give you another shot. In the level 50 range, if I don't count Holly, you're the only dark type I really have. Against Team Rocket. Four battles we need to do here. First one against the male Grunt. Two Grunt Rocks, two Poisons, a Bug and an Electric Ball. And therefore making it a team that does not perfectly balance out. Can be easily overcome. If I just pick the right set of Pokémon. Which are going to be, looking at the types of these guys, Magnus, Xander and Laura. has suddenly burst onto the scene. How will their unexpected raid affect the challenger's quest for glory? Apparently I'm on a quest for glory. <laughs> Let's go see what you start with. Graveler. I don't think I actually have anything against you. Flames don't work. Normal definitely does not work against a rock type. Um, well, I've got a water type in my team. Combatants face each other. I would be a fool to actually not switch to that. That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Lapra! And your move? Rock throw. Crap. The <laughs> Ouch. I'm already being punched by super effective. How will this Pokemon switch affect the flow of that? But I can do that too. Unless you're going to Here go away. <laughs> oh, it's coughing! Coughing. Poison type. Well, Surf is still going to hurt you. There's the shot. Not super effective, but still pretty painful. A heavy hit. Indeed, a heavy hit. <laughs> Will this newly out Pokemon fail? But Ice Beam is even better. The, ice beam. That's it. the switching to your coughing oh, is not going to help you, sir. Go. Just how I planned it. <laughs> so, what will be the it's always the best Pokemon. thing to do. Whenever you lose, just say you were intending to lose. Oh, Pineco. Pineco is your third Pokemon. Perfect. 
number of remaining Pokemon is Let's continue riding the water. The is still far from certain. A furious attack. A crushing blow. Yeah, you're not going to be staying around for too long. Oh. A massive explosion. Great hit. Nice. <laughs> Down it goes. Perfect victory. I didn't even have to do the finishing move myself. Oh my, it's a double knockout. Yeah, you actually brought down my water type before I was oh able to bring gosh, down your rock type. <laughs> so mean. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. It's down to the last Pokemon now. Oh, it's Satu. Yeah, indeed, it's Satu. Psychic works Pokemon best against you. It's the only thing one. that is neutral. And uh, Nightshade, of course, but that's simply not strong enough. <laughs> hey, don't you go throw rocks at a bird. <laughs> oh, a Unless you miss, then you're allowed to do so. The Time to finish this match. A psychic blast! Yes, that was good! There are no more remaining Pokémon! And there goes the battle! And that is how battles can go. I actually brought Sender for the Poison type, but actually did not bring down the Poison type with Sender. Same deal with the Graveler, was not brought down by my Water type. And the Pineco also was not brought down by my Fire type. <laughs> But I still won. <laughs> Interesting. Time for the female grunt. Which is going to be battle number two. Your Pokemon. Well, a little bit less poison types. But still two of them. This time in the form of dual Pokemon. Fire and dark type. We have a normal type. Psychic type. Xander. Best way to start. Laura. Yeah, and for the drowsy, I do need a dark type. So Snoopy too. Another rocket grunt wants to battle. How will the challenger respond to this unexpected threat? I will respond with. <laughs> oh, two psychic types facing each other. Great start. Tempting to use a ghost type move, but it won't do too much. So let's go for my ghost type status move. The commands are made. A flash of confused ray. It's become confused. Now what are you going to do? It's utterly confused. Hurting yourself, thank you. That will give uh, me the chance to leave. Try to get Snoopy in here. This Pokemon is switching out! Oh, it's Sneasel! It stayed confused! Well, you're doing precisely what I want you to do! <laughs> I will, will fake attack you in the meantime. How's that? Ah! That attack just bounced off! Are you going to hurt yourself some more? It's still lost yep. in confusion. Well, Xander's confusion was a very good move. <laughs> the white hot battle continues. Working out nicely. And Snoopy can slowly take you down. Faint attack. That's it. Oh, and down it goes. Faint attack is not the most powerful move, but in the end, it will still get you. So, what will be the next Pokemon? Oh, it's Spinarak. Spinarak. Well, bug types can, in theory, be a little bit difficult to take down with the dark type. So I'm not going to try and return to Xander. This bug type is actually asking for a flying type move. This Pokemon is back for another go. Toxic. I will get poisoned. Wearing the bow down appears to be the plan. Yeah, just like I did uh, the previous one. on the battle. Protect. It assumed a protective pose. Well, my first drill pack is not going to connect in that case. Ow, drill pack. Whoops, that missed. I'll get another chance. It 
<laughs> I take poison damage that immediately gets healed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, protect using twice in a row. That is normally not a very good idea. Time for you to get hit. Another spider down. Do you have anything to take down my birds? Just one Pokemon remain. Oh, it's Macro. Oh, you've got a bird of your own. <laughs> a dark bird. They're both hanging tough. Therefore, a scary one. I could actually try to stay around and actually um, make Sander fall. But the question is, what will I use? I don't really have anything that will work against you, after all. So, in that case, let's still leave. Laura seems to be the best way to be able to damage you. Here comes a Pokemon switch. Oh, it's Lapra! Ice-type moves are a good way to take down a flying type. No, the move fails. Great job wasting a turn. How will this Pokemon Ice beam. Affect the flow of battle? Fly. Yeah. Stop delaying the inevitable. I will simply input it again. Because I will survive this attack. This is not good enough to stop me. And there we go. One hit was enough. Perfect. And there goes the battle. Dark type bird tried to actually take down my psychic bird, but I had an ice type user. <laughs> Not my actual ice type, but uh, you know what I mean. All three of my Pokemon did good work. Finishing off the first half of this stage, the grunts are down, and now it is time to take on the executives. Starting off with the female one. So, it's you. You're the brat who's been wandering around here. And your Pokémon look impressive. You've got a Sneasel, half a team of poison types, and two normal types. Xander for the poisons. And then... Normal types we need to bring down with Higgs. And the Vile Plume and Sneasel are both weak against fire. Because of being grass and ice. Magnus will be my final one. Finally, here comes a Team Rocket executive. Losing to criminals simply isn't an option. Let's hope the challenger has the backbone to thwart the rocket. Losing to criminals simply isn't an option. Well put. The muck is a good way to start at least. Let's hope he's going to stay around. Yeah, he will. So a furious attack. This won't take long. Two psychics and you're going to be gone. What did the other oh. side do? It withstood that easily. Well, you are proven to be uh, a criminal indeed. But Thief is not very powerful as a dark type move, so my psychic type is not fearing that. And you are gone. Please go away. Mockap simply is not a good name. <laughs> That KO will bring out a new Pokemon! Oh, it's Licky Tower! Ah, Lickap. That's way better. <laughs> it's a fierce Let's continue with Psychic. There's the attack! Great hit! Of course, not going to be as powerful. Oh, help, Blizzard! There's Freezing my bird! Oh, oh but it did not hit me. <laughs> now I'm afraid. Now I'm going to leave and actually put Higgs in here. Here comes a Pokemon I might need Xander for the final one, so let's keep him alive. What now? Oh my! Missed again! Are you sure you're actually looking at things right? <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. The Pokemon is returning to its Somewhere Pokemon. that was predictable. It means you have something that can work against the fighting type. Oh, it's Mal or you have something that is actually strong against fighting type moves. It's also an option. <laughs> How's that? That didn't accomplish much. 
Bye bye. I can also switch. I've got Magnus in my team. Oh, it's Magma! Now what will you do? Giga Drain. Won't do too much against the fire type. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? No more switching, I hope. Nope. A furious attack! A powerful blow! It managed to hang in there! Yeah, that's not going to matter if you've got burn status. What will it do? That because from the moment damage. this turn ends, you are still down. Oh, oh, knockout! Only one Pokemon left to come up. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. It's down to the last Pokemon now. Yeah. They go into battle mode. You don't stand a chance anymore, of course, in this situation. There's the shot! That is like some damage. I doubt Earthquake is going to bring me there down. It goes. Bam! That worked perfectly! No, it won't. Welcome then this is over. Let's go punch you, because why not? Looks cool. <laughs> That's it. And the match is over. The last Pokemon goes down. And there goes the battle. Three out of four battles taken care of. Now, waiting for the finale. Team Rocket is in the way. I actually want to battle all of the gym leaders, but... Uh, these guys first need to be uh, cleaned up. <laughs> need to do only one more. The big boss, the male executive. Let's go see how intimidating he is going to be. Or that his team is going to be similar to the female executive. Oh, you've come all this way? Fine, I accept your challenge. Hey, you are the ones who came to me. <laughs> nice way to look at things, sir. Now let's go take a look at your team. And I will easily see that Xander needs to go in first. That, um... Magnus needs to go because you have a mean-looking victory bell. The final one is going to be difficult. I could focus on the Houndoom, being a fire type and everything. And because of that reason, actually input Laura. But we'll keep a couple of options open. And this might be difficult. This is a battle against a Team Rocket executive. Let's hope the challenger can thwart Team Rocket and resume battles against the gym leader. Indeed, that's the reason why we're here. We want to assume the battles against the gym leaders. And I'm not too happy about this person, actually. This was one of the Pokémon I was hoping was going to stay behind. Oh! Switching Pokémon! That Pokémon huh. must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Houndoom! Yeah, Houndoom. You had something that was going to take my Psychic. You knew I was going to use that. Here's the first move! That has no effect! The CPU that actually thinks is scary. The flow of I cannot stay around, obviously. This Pokemon is switching out! If I input Laura, you're simply going to switch again, I am afraid. Oh, it's Lapra! But I do need to try and see what you will do. The sunlight has turned hard. Wonder what you're planning to do with that. Powering up fire type moves. How will this new I think I will actually override this. Fair. Oh, you've got solar beam. Hmm. Why am I not surprised? There's the attack. Bullseye. I've got that on my own uh, hound doom as well, of course. <laughs> uh oh, it started raining. Well, at heavily. least you're not able to do that again. And now uh, try to surf. What that? That was a glancing blow. Oh, special defense is down. Rain dance and surf attack. against the fire type. You're down. That one rock. No way you can take that. Wow! A single hit brings it down. Next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Will the person return? Oh, 
No, you will reveal your final Pokemon. Ghost type. Well, it's still raining. The surface can't be super powerful. However, I don't think I'm going to be around for that. Nope. Bummer. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Magnus. Oh, it's Magma! I cannot input Xander against you. It won't end very nicely. You are a ghost that is not poison, after all. Two Pokemon remain Time on to burn. Side. Let's hope the rain will stop quickly. <laughs> There's the shot. Oh, oh thank burn. you. Speaking of burn. That's indeed what I gave you. A curse was cast. Well, that was not a good thing, but it will oh, also it actually um, hurt you quite a bit, so... I'm going to win in this turn. One Pokémon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. Magnus is not going to be around for a whole lot longer. <laughs> Ooh, Being cursed is going to bring me down there quite quickly. Let's go see if we're able to damage the Persian as much as we can. Just one Pokémon remains. The Pokémon emerges from its Pokéball. It's down to the last Pokémon now. Yeah, and I've got the two. Rain finally stopped. And now I can actually use a now good flamethrower. The downpour has finally stopped. The field has returned to normal. What now? Hit. That is like Ouch. Attack. The curse is also going to hurt me. But this was actually a good move. The curse is working. It's a fierce battle. Will I able to do another one? I don't think so, actually. <laughs> we shall see. Nailed the weak spot. Uh, yeah. Down it goes. That was one critical. But I've got one Xatu left. One Pokemon left for battle. It's unfortunate, but I've got one Xatu left. <laughs> But well, you were scared Pokemon. of me because you left the moment the Xatu was first here. Uh, but you've got Thunder! <laughs> okay, now I'm really unsure why you were actually scared of my Xatu at first. <laughs> Strange battle. But ending in my favor. This final one was definitely not easy. As you can clearly see by the final results. Two of my Pokemon down and the third one almost. But in the end, was able to defeat the Rocket Executive. And therefore beating this extra stage, the Team Rocket Intermezzo. Hopefully we're not going to find any more Intermezzos. <laughs> Does not look like it, looking at this um, final stretch coming up. But now we are finally back on route and gym leaders can actually be taken care of yet again. The mahogany gym is going to be up first. And then we also still have to do the blackthorn gym. Mahogany gym and its ice types are up first in the next episode. Thank you for watching the Team Rocket episode at least. <laughs> and I will see you folks next time. Shrieks out.